Question 1. In diagram, the straight line QP is parallel to the straight line TS. When you see this word parallel, okay, we can draw arrows in QP and TS first. So QP, TS. To remind us that these two lines are parallel. Given that the coordinates of T is 5, 3, and the equation of the straight line QP is 2Y equals to negative 4X plus 5. Okay, so we have this equation for QP. Find the equation of the straight line QT. QT. So QT is a horizontal line. We know that the equation of the straight line will be Y equals to MX plus C. M is the gradient. C is the Y intercept. Y intercept is the point that cut at Y axis. Then how about the equation for the horizontal line and vertical line? For the horizontal line, we will have y equals to something. y equals to something. And for this one, we will just refer to the y intercept. So let's say for this blue line, the y intercept is 3. So the equation of this straight line will be y equals to 3. That's all. And for this blue line, the y intercept is negative 2. So the equation of this blue line will be y equals to negative 2. For vertical line, if it's the same, we will x equals to something. x equals to something. Then, this something refers to the x-intercept here. So this, this is 8. So the equation of this line will be x equals to 8. This is negative 5. So the equation of this vertical line will be x equals to negative 5. Okay, so we go back to this question. Find the equation of the straight line QT. So QT is a horizontal line. The equation of a horizontal line will be y equals to something. And this something refers to the y-intercept. So what is the y-intercept for QT? So we are given the coordinates of T is 5, 3. That means the coordinate of this y-intercept will be 3. Okay, you follow the y-coordinates here. So here we have 3. So the equation of this line will be y equals to 3. That's all. So A, the answer will be y equals to 3. Find the equation of the straight line TS. Okay, so we can rearrange this equation. We rearrange the equation for QP. Okay, we divide it by 2. Then you will have y equals to negative 4 divided by 2, negative 2x plus 5 over 2. From the general equation here, y equals to mx plus c. You will know that the gradient of this equation is negative 2. qp and ts are parallel. So qp is parallel to ts, qp is parallel to ts. If these two lines are parallel, then their gradient will be equals. Gradient of qp equals to gradient of Ts. So gradient of QP from the equation, we will have negative 2. That means the gradient of Ts also equals to negative 2. They share same gradient. They have the same gradient. How to form the equation of Ts? So now we have gradient of Ts equals to negative 2. We can form this general equation. Then you will have y equals to negative 2x plus c. Okay, now we have to find the value of c. How to find the value of c? For ts, you just substitute the coordinate of t, 5, 3. So this is x, this is y. Substitute x, y to this equation. Then we will have 3 equals to negative 2, x equals to 5. So x equals to 5 plus c. Okay, find the value of c. Then you will have 3 equals to negative 10 plus C. So C equals to 3 plus 10, 13. The final equation will be Y equals to negative 2X plus 13. So this is the answer for B. C, find the X intercept of the straight line TX. Okay, X intercept is when Y equals to 0. You have to remember this. X intercept is when y equals to 0. And y intercept 
this one y intercept is when x equals to zero so for tx tx from part b we found that the equation of tx is y equals to negative 2x plus 13 then to find x intercept we have to let y equal to zero okay substitute y equals to zero into this equation you will have zero equals to negative 2x plus 13 okay find the value of x so we bring this negative 2x to left hand side so positive 2x equals to 13 so x equals to 13 over 2 then this is the x intercept of ts question 2 diagram show a rhombus a b c d given that the equation of the straight line a d is x plus 2 y minus 2 equals to 0 find the coordinate of d okay so this is a rhombus for a rhombus we know that a d is parallel to bc opposite sides are parallel and then ab is parallel to cd numbers also all the sides are equal so ab bc cd ad they have equal side time the bin time is equal for rhombus okay for a find the coordinate of d so we are given the equation of a d x plus 2 y minus 2 equals to 0 and d here d is a x intercept so x intercept is when y equals to 0 so the y coordinate of d will be 0 you can see d is at x axis the bin so it's going to be x intercept x intercept the y then y is the linear but we do not know what is the value of x so you put x here first to find the value of x you just need to substitute x0 into the equation of AD. Okay, so you write like this. x plus 2y minus 2 equals to 0. So the coordinate of D will be x0. That's when y equals to 0. So when y equals to 0, x plus 2 times 0 minus 2 equals to 0. Then you will have x minus 2 equals to 0, x equals to 2. So the coordinate of d will be 2, 0. This is for part A. B, find the equation of the straight line A, B, A, B. First, we have to find the coordinate of A. So A is a y-intercept because it cut at y at 6. So y intercept is when x equals to 0. So you know the coordinate of x is 0, then y is an unknown. To find the value of y, you just substitute 0 y into this equation, into the equation of a d. Then you will have when x equals to 0. So 0 plus 2 y minus 2 equals to 0. 2 y equals to positive 2. So y equals to 1. The coordinate of a is 0, 1. Okay, so now we've tried to find the value of b. The coordinate of b. So b and d, the lines on the same vertical line. That means the value of x are the same. So from part a, we found that the coordinate of d is 2, 0. So this is 2, 0. Okay, so b x coordinate will be 2 also, but y is an unknown. If they have b and d in the same direction, then they have x coordinate will be the same. It's 2, 2. To find this value, we have to find from the distance. Because we know that for rhombus, it has equal side. They have the same direction. So we have ab equals to ad. The length of AB is equal to the length of AD. Okay, so how to find the length of AB? We have to use the formula of distance. Square root x1 minus x2. So 2 minus 0 square plus y1 minus y2. y minus 1 square. Okay, this is the general formula for distance. Square root x1 minus x2 square plus y1 minus y2 square 
Okay, so this is how we find the distance of AB equals to distance of AD. So square root, let's say this is x1, y1, x2, y2, then you will have 0 minus 2 square plus 1 minus 0 square. Okay, so solve this, then we will have square root. 2 minus 0 is 2. 2 square you will have 4. Plus y minus 1 square equals to square root. 0 minus 2, we have negative 2. Negative 2 square, 4. Plus 1 minus 0, 1. 1 square, still 1. We have to get rid of this square root, so we square both sides. Then square root square disappear. Square root square cancel each other and disappear. So for left hand side, we have 4 plus y minus 1 square. Okay, this one you need to expand. y minus 1 square equals to y minus 1 multiply with y minus 1. Okay, you expand this, then you will have y squared minus 2y plus 1 equals to 4 plus 1, then we will have 5. Okay, so you rearrange this, you bring all the numbers to the right hand side. So y squared minus 2y, 5 minus 4 minus 1, you will have 0. Factorize this, okay, we can factorize 1y. So left with y minus 2 equals to 0. So y equals to 0. Another one would be y minus 2 equals to 0. Then y equals to 2. So what is the coordinate of b? It cannot be y equals to 0. Then this will be y equals to 2. So the coordinate of b will be 2, 2. And now we find the gradient of AB. Gradient of AB, y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. So let's say this is x1, y1, x2, y2. Then you will have 2 minus 1 over 2 minus 0. So this is equals to 1 over 2. Put into the general equation, then you will have y equals to 1 over 2x plus c. c is the y-intercept. So what is the y-intercept of this straight line a, b? Okay, this is a. The y-coordinate of a is 1. So the y-intercept will be 1. So the final equation will be y equals to 1 over 2x plus 1. Number 3, diagram shows straight line a, b, a, c, and c, d drawn on a Cartesian plan. Straight line AC is parallel to Y and 6. Okay, when you see the word parallel, then you can draw arrows. So AC is parallel to Y and 6. AC parallel to Y and 6. AB is parallel to CD. Okay, then these two lines are parallel. The equation of the straight line CD is 1 over 3Y equals to X plus 2. A. State the equation of straight line AC. Okay, so AC is parallel to Y axis. That means AC is a vertical line. AC is a transition. So the, for the vertical line, you will have X equals to something. And this something depends on the X intercept here. Okay, for this vertical line, they have the same X coordinate. Okay, that means for C, the coordinate of C will be negative 4 and then unknown. Okay, they, they have the same x coordinate, negative 4. Therefore, the x intercept here will also be negative 4. So the equation of this vertical line will just x equals to negative 4. You can the x coordinate is negative 4. This is negative 4. So you find in line. This is x equal to negative 4. So the equation of straight line AC will equal to x equals to negative 4. B. Find the equation of the straight line AB. So AB is parallel to CD. We have to rearrange this equation. 1 over 3y 
equals to x plus 2. Okay, we can multiply by 3. Then you will have y equals to 3x plus 6. Compared to the general equation, then you will know that the gradient will be 3. So gradient of CD equals to 3. AB is parallel to CD, that means they share the same gradient. So gradient of AD also equals to 3. Then you will have for AB, Y equals to 3X plus C. Okay, we have to find the value of C. But we do not know what's the Y intercept here. We are given the coordinate of a is negative 4, 8. You just substitute negative 4, 8 into this equation. So this is x, y. Then you will have 8 equals to 3, x equals to negative 4 plus c. Okay, calculate this. 8 equals to negative 12 plus c. So c equals to 8 plus 12, 20. So the final equation will be y equals to 3x plus 20. This is the answer for b. c, find x intercept of the straight line a, b. So x intercept is when y equals to 0. So you have to use back the equation of a, b and let y equals to 0. So 0 equals to 3x plus 20. So 3x equals to negative 20 and x equals to negative 20 over 3. So this is the x-intercept of straight line AB. In diagram O is the origin. Straight line KL is parallel to straight line PQ. Okay, so these two lines are parallel. Straight line QL is parallel to the y-axis. QL is parallel to y-axis. Find the equation of the straight line QL. So QL is parallel to y axis. That means QL is a vertical line passing on zixian. For vertical line, the equation will be x equals to something, and this something is referring to the x coordinate of Q here. Okay. So the x coordinate of Q is four. That means this equation is x equals to four. That's all. Jiakan, if it's zixian, then we look at the x coordinate. 如果这边是4的话,这里就是4,如果这边是3,就是x等于3,and so on. Okay, so the answer for A will be x equals to 4. B, find the equation of the straight line PQ. Okay, PQ. KL is parallel to PQ. The equation of KL is 2y equals to negative 3x plus 36. Okay, we divide it by 2 first, then you will have two y equals to negative 3 over 2x plus 36 divided by 2, 18. So the gradient of KL equals to negative 3 over 2. KL is parallel to PQ, so gradient of PQ equals to negative 3 over 2 also. Okay, and then for PQ, you will have y equals to negative 3 over 2x plus c. To find the value of c, you just need to substitute the coordinate of q for 2 into this equation. This is x, this is y. So 2 equals to negative 3 over 2 times 4 plus c. So 2 equals to negative 6 plus c. So C equals to 2 plus 6, 8. Then the final equation will be Y equals to negative 3 over 2X plus 8. Okay, this is for part B. C, find the value of M. Okay, so you just need to substitute negative 2M into the equation of PQ. So the equation of PQ that we found in B is y equals to negative 3 over 2x plus 8. So this is x, this is y. You just substitute in, then you will have m equals to negative 3 over 2. x is negative 2 plus 8. So m equals to 
Okay, 2, 2, CP5, negative, negative, positive. So positive 3 plus 8. M equals to 11. So M equals to 11. 5. In diagram O is the origin. Straight line AB is parallel to the straight line CD. Okay, AB is parallel to CD. And straight line BC is parallel to Y at 6. BC is parallel to Y at 6. The equation of the straight line AB is y equals to 2x plus 5. So that's the equation of the straight line BC. BC is parallel to y at 6. That means BC is a vertical line. BC is a vertical So vertical line, the equation will be x equals to something. Okay, this something refer to the x coordinate, either for B or C. So we have to find the coordinate of B first. So we are given here is 7. Okay, that means the coordinate of B will be something unknown, then Y coordinate is 7. Okay, to find this X, you just need to substitute X7 into the equation of AB. This is X, this is Y, then you will have 7 equals to 2X plus 5. So 2X equals to 7 minus 5, 2 x equals to 1. So this is 1, 7. So the equation of this BC, x equals to x coordinate here, 1. So this is x equals to 1. Find the equation of the straight line CD. AB is parallel to CD. So for AB, we are given y equals to 2x plus 5. When we compare to the general equation y equals to mx plus c, then you will know that the gradient is equals to 2. So gradient of ab equals to 2. This two lines are parallel, that means gradient of cd equals to 2 also. Then you will have y equals to 2x plus c. To find the value of c, you just need to substitute this coordinate. This is x, this is y into this equation so 5 equals to 2 times 3 plus c so c equals to 5 minus 6 negative 1 y equals to 2x minus 1 number 6 diagram shows straight line a b b c and c d drawn on the cartesian plan Straight line BC is parallel to Y at 6. Then BC is parallel to Y. And AB is parallel to CD. The equation of straight line CD is Y equals to negative 1 over 2X minus 1. Find the X intercept of the straight line CD. Okay, so you are given the equation of CD. Y equals to negative 1 over 2X minus 1. To find the x intercept, x intercept is when y equals to 0. So just substitute y equals to 0 into this equation. Then 0 equals to negative 1 over 2x minus 1. So negative 1 over 2x equals to 1. We multiply with negative 2. So this one you will have x equals to negative 2. So this is the answer for a. B, find the equation of straight line AB. So AB is parallel to CD. From this equation, we will know that gradient of CD equals to negative 1 over 2. That means gradient of AB also equals to negative 1 over 2. Then you will have Y equals to negative 1 over 2X plus C. To find the value of C, you just need to substitute coordinate of A. So this is X, this is Y. Then you will have 1 equals to negative 1 over 2 times 6 plus C. So 1 equals to negative 3 plus C. C equals to 1 plus 3, 4. Y equals to negative 1 over 2X plus 4. This is for part B. C, 
set the equation of straight line BC. Okay, so BC is parallel to Y axis. That means BC is a vertical line. And the equation of a vertical line will be X equals to something. And this something refers to the X coordinate or X intercept. Okay, so from here, C is the X intercept. From A, we found that the X intercept of straight line CD equals to negative 2. That means the coordinate of this C is negative 2, 0. Because C is an X intercept. Okay, so the X coordinate is negative 2 and Y equals to 0. Okay, so the equation of this straight line will be X equals to, you follow the X coordinate here, X equals to negative 2. X equals to negative 2.